Hi, I'm That's Brad, and you're watching South Coast Detecting. <laughs> Hello all, Aaron here, back out again. Uh, I want to say a massive thank you to all your new subs out there that have decided to sub just recently and uh, on your, all your old subs as well. Thank you for uh, sticking with it. Uh, I'm back out on a park that I've been on before. Um, the last time I came out here with the macro cruiser, it was quite a surprise, I'll be honest with you. They turned up some interesting things. Uh, we had Victorian pennies, we had World War I, badges we had a very strange silver artifact as well from 1906 and this is a park i've done before with the ace 250 came out here with the macro cruiser there it is uh, just to see if i'd missed anything and by golly i'd missed a few things um as you can see the floor is quite frosty but just walking over it to get here it's quite soft as well so i shouldn't have any trouble with the spartan getting through this uh, right, let's get cracking. I'll see you at the first hole. Let's dig. Right, okay, first hole, got a signal here. And that's coming up as, uh, as you can see in the 20s. Okay, that's I think I am detecting a bit of an iron grunt behind that. Yeah. So I don't think I'm going to dig it, but for the purposes of this, I might actually give it a dig just to show you what it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting that? There is a little, a little grunt there. All right, so let's give it a dig and we'll see what it is. Right, so there we go. It was a, a low number. Uh, the tone wasn't particularly brilliant and there was definitely a grunt with it telling me that it wasn't very good. And there it is. It's foil. It's a bit of foil. So yeah, low numbers. A bit of a grunt telling me basically not to dig it. And there it is. It's nothing brilliant, but it proves that the machine itself was telling me, yeah, you don't want to dig that. And it was right. I got a signal down here on the floor, just stuck my heel in. So, uh, right about there. Okay, numbers. In the 50s, early 60s. Not getting an iron grunt with it. There's a slightly lower tone. Right, well, let's give it a dig anyway. See what it is. Right, I've popped the clod and it's still in the hole, so let's have a little look for it. <clears throat> yep. There is, there you go. There is round in the hole. And what was that? How far down is that? That's, we'll take three quarters of the depth of the pointer. Yeah, about there. That's how deep it was. What's that? Six, seven inches? Eight, maybe? That's the first coin of the day. Whoop. Clumsy sod. Choice fifth. Half penny. Looking at the size of that. Uh, 
that 19? There you go. 19, 18. Made up with that. First one of the day. Let's carry on. Right, now this hole here, I dug here, purely out of curiosity. Uh, it was giving me big signals down the 30s, then up again in the 70s, down in the 50s. Initially I thought bottle top. I popped the clod. And there's something in the clod. Which probably is going to be a bottle top. I'll dig that out in a second. But the bottom of the hole, there was another faint signal. Again, not showing a VDI, no numbers, just a very, very faint signal. Let's see if we can get it out. Beauty. We're on the silver. We're not on the silver. Nineteen twenty six. So it's only fifty percent. But look at that. George V silver, you beauty. Right, let's pop that in here. And what I'll do is we'll have a look at what's in the clod. So that's what we've got so far. That's where we are at the moment. And to think I've been over all this with the Garrett, with the Nell Tornado, I found Plenty of stuff, but ah, there you go. So it was this crusty coin that was giving me the funny signals, kind of masking the silver at the bottom. And I'm so glad I dug that now, or else I wouldn't have found that silver. You beauty. This is a prime example of what I'm talking about. See if you can hear this. Hear that? There's no VDI numbers. It's just a very tiny, thin signal. Almost nothing there. Just right at the back of the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this. It might turn out to be crap, but those are the things you've got to dig. Just out of reach, but not quite, you know? Right, let's give that a dig. Okay, so what's that there? Bottom corner. Again, it's a good seven, eight inches down, maybe more. Now on this occasion, it was a screw. It's still the same or similar composition to a coin old coin so you've got the macro cruiser and you're certainly in 14 kilohertz and you're getting those thin wispy signals just at the back of the box just out of reach but still there you've got to dig them because you never know you never know let's carry on right here we've got late 40s early 50s Nice big banging signal. Looking at it, it's got a fair bit of depth on it. Or either that or it's big. Right, let's give it a dig. Right, nothing to write home about. But you've got to dig those signals because on the macro cruiser on 14k, gold rings come in. Around about 49, 51. So you've got to dig them, haven't you? Because you never know, do you? You don't want to walk away from something like that. Well, I think this is just a bottle top. Yep, 
think it's just a bottle top. Wow! Let's carry on. Right, there's a surface find here. Can you see it? There it is. It's a name badge off a dog. Let's have a look at the other side, see if there's any numbers on it. Yeah, there is. This is Pen. Ah, let's carry on. Well, I've got a signal here. Bouncing around a wee bit. Can't make his mind up what he wants to be. I guess we'll dig it. See what it is. Part of a door lock. Nothing special. Well, there you go. Okay, this hole. Something coming up in the 90s. See what it is. Before I popped the plug, it was coming up in the early 80s, late 70s. Turned it over, it's coming up as that now. So. Right. That's it's further down. To be honest with you, I'm not holding out much hope of it being anything good. I think at this end of the field, there used to be some sort of building, some sort of structure. It's definitely not out now. Three ring, there it is. It's a big one, isn't it? Let's carry on. Okay, right over here, somewhere. <laughs> I'll find it again. There we go. Can you, can you hear that? Give it a dig. We'll see what it is. Right. Something in there. Let's see if we can find it. I just turned it off now. Two hours later. Right. I finally got to the bottom of all that. Nothing in there now. It's all out now. The 
there's two things in this hole and one of them is masking the other. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't be a hunt without one. Little penny. Pop that in there. Best make sure actually there might not be anything else in it. Let's have a quick go. <laughs> oh there it is. <laughs> Oh, that's some more roundness. Oh, you beauty. Holy shamoly. Holy shamoly, all right. Nineteen thirty five. Let's put that in here. Here we go. There's two now. You beauty. There's not been many decent finds, I'll be honest with you. A lot of it's been rubbish, but it's a double silver day. Let's carry on. Right. Something just here. Again, numbers are all over the place. Big. Right, we're on fourth old coin. It's another half penny. The date we got on that? Nineteen eleven. So it's George Fifth. I'll be honest to you, uh, that signal completely baffled me because the numbers, as you saw, were, were sort of jumping around a bit. So I'm just going to, now it's out of the hole, I'm just going to give that a scan. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Right, okay. So there we go. Next old coin. Late 60s. Early 70s. Very nice. No old pennies yet, though, I've noticed. A couple of half pennies. And a couple of beautiful silvers, but... But no half pennies yet. Um, no pennies today. Not yet, anyway. Carry on. Right, I've turned the clod back over. Now 
there's a signal just behind where I found the coin in the hole there. There's a signal just behind it, so let's carry on. I'll get back in the hole and see what else is in there. Right, clod has been popped. Let's see what it is. Right, now you're probably wondering what happened there. Well, as you saw from the screen, the, the battery died, the camera battery died. I tried to do something different while I was out hunting today. I tried to leave my phone on standby. You know, the screen open, the screen ready to go. So all I had to do was press the record button to start and stop. So there's no messing about with me taking my gloves on and off. No, no, because while I was on standby, the battery died. So didn't work. Now, the hole that I was digging that I went back to that you saw me doing as the camera died, that was in it, that was in the hole. Latch off a window, would presume. As you can see, it's kind of broken off one side. But that's what was in the hole. Now, I did a turn around, I was walking the park and I was doing it in lines. And as I turned around, I thought, well, my battery's died, I might as well go home now and uh, edit this together. Walking back, got a signal. Had a look, 2p. Wouldn't be the same without a 2p, would it? So, there we go, we got the 2p. Carried on swinging on my walk back to the entrance to the park, and I got a signal in the hole. Signal in the hole is another half penny. Another George V. This is just as they came out the hole. I haven't cleaned them or anything. I believe that is 1917. Gave the... Uh, hole a little check because you've always got to check your holes you always got to check your holes and there was another signal in there so i went straight back in again another coin another george the fifth half penny and again i think it's the same year i can't quite see at the bottom of this one because this one is a little bit worn let's have a look again 1917 same number check the hole again and then there was still a signal in there. And sitting in there was this third half penny. Again, I don't know, 1926, there we go. So, that is a little roundup of what we had in the park today. This is the decent stuff. Obviously there was tap, there was bottle tops, ring pulls, things like that. Didn't film everything, but this is the good stuff. We started off with a half penny. Uh, we then got that, the, the sixpence. Um, along with a penny, wasn't it? It was hiding under a penny or something. Then we had that, uh, then we had another half penny, and then more half pennies. Not a single penny today, not a single one. But five half pennies and two silvers. Absolutely buzzing with that. It's a double silver day today. Really, really pleased. I'm definitely going to have to go back to that park. I, I shouldn't have walked away when I did, but I wanted to film everything. I didn't just want to bring you stuff and say, look, there you go, I found that, I found that, I found that. I wanted you to see me scanning the hole, digging it out, and what have you. So I cut it short, and I will return, and we will go back at it, and we'll see if we can find any more old coins and silvers and what have you. That will be in a future video. Thank you for sticking with me for this one. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. If you've not already subscribed, then do so, because um, I'm not far, I'm about 300 subs away from 2,000. When I get to 2,000, I'm going to have another giveaway, like I did when I, did, uh, when I reached 1,000. And the only way you'll know about this giveaway, obviously, is if you're subscribed. That way you'll be in the loop. You'll know when we're doing the giveaway. You'll know what we're giving away. So if you want to be kept in the loop, then make sure you subscribe. And I'll let you know when we're doing the giveaway. When we reach 2,000 subs. Not quite there yet, but when we do, we'll do a giveaway. Um, also, how many of you are going to Detectable? You checking out Detectable? There's one coming up in spring. I think it's the weekend of April the 5th. I will put a link down in the description. Get your tickets, get yourself over there. I'm going to go there. There's going to be a lot of great people there. I'm looking forward to bumping into Rob Random. I really, I really am. It's going to be crackers. Um, but yeah, uh, if you are going Detectable, I will see you there. Uh, if you are heading out, don't forget to wear your gloves. Be careful out there. Be safe. You never know what's in those holes. Uh, good luck, happy hunting, and I will see you again soon. Ta-da.